the best part about the day was I had to call all to myself and left him behind. No great shakes. So I missed Lin going topless till 207. No big deal. I had the Gallardo for a day, the LP560, and we tried something a bit different. You know, you've heard the term, if I got a penny for every time someone told me how good looking I am, I'd be a millionaire. That sounds right or wrong. You would. But anyway, don't laugh, Lin. <laughs> anyway, we put that test out with the Lamborghini Gallardo plonked it in front of Inti College and we asked kids whether they'd like to take a photo of the car for 10 cents a piece. There are supercars and there are supercars. Austin Martin, Porsche, Ferrari, all great and beautiful cars in their own right. But face it, the brand name that has given millions of little boys hours of automotive dreams and fantasies is Lamborghini. For many generations, the gorgeous lines and pinnacle performance of Lamborghini have epitomized the term supercar. And this is the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 in white. Lamborghini's quickest car to 200 km an hour. Yep, quicker than a Murcielago. It's also the most chuckable and one of the most desirable cars in the world. We've all heard the saying that if you had a penny, every time someone told you how beautiful you are, you'll be a millionaire. And today we're gonna put it to the test with the Gallardo. So what better way to prove a Lamborghini Gallardo's mega attention-grabbing capabilities than to park it in front of one of the top local educational institutions and see just how many people crowd around it. You pay 10 cents to take a trip this car. Absolutely. So you will pay 10 cents for it? Now, what do you think hypothesis? Oh, I thought? I think hypothesis. Um, you got a penny every time someone said you were looking, you'd be a millionaire by now. I wish so, I could say that. There you go. I'm trying to tell them this is the car I drive to wear. Why do you like this car so much? Oh, I fell in love with it because I only see 2D or Need for Speed. I can never like touch it like now because I used to use Lamborghini Gallardo, pump, pimp it up so much to win all my races in Need for Speed. Excellent. That's why it's gonna be my dream car. It's gonna be parked in my garage in the future, baby. <laughs> Gallardos have been around for almost six years now, but they still stop traffic, literally. To the crowd of gawkers, we said, 10 cents for a photo. Guess what? They actually paid up. Sir, would you pay 10 cents to take a picture with the Lamborghini? You should pay me 10 cents to take a picture with the Lamborghini. And after half an hour, we collected almost 6 ringgit. That's an average of 2 photos per minute over 30 minutes of consistent attention. Absolutely incredible. And point proven. Keep watching. Because after the break, we're going to ring the Gallardo for all that it's worth. It is obscenely quick! <laughs> Before the break, we proved that the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 is a major attention grabber. Now, we're going to drive it hard for all that it's worth. Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 Lamborghini's most successful model today Gorgeous, isn't it? Over 5,000 units of this baby have been produced That's a lot of cars Suddenly, Lamborghini is common Well, enough about that, let's talk about the specs It's got a 5.2 litre V10 that produces 560 horsepower and 540 newton meters of torque It does 325 kilometers an hour How about that for speed? Whoa! Whoa, baby! So with this level of supercar, you don't talk about 0 to 100 km an hour anymore. You talk about 0 to 200 km an hour. And this baby does it in 11.8 seconds. That's the same speed that a Honda Civic City takes to get to 100 km an hour. So it's twice as fast. Think about that. The LP560 is quicker than a Ferrari F430. And it's quicker than a Porsche 997. 
baby, it is quick. And I think other than a superbike, it's probably one of the fastest things I have driven so far in my life. So I have the key to the LP560 today, and I'm going to use it. Here's an interesting conundrum. I have one of the most powerful cars in the world and it is raining, it is pouring. It's not bad to drive, however, I had some apprehension driving in traffic. At the end of the day, you have to understand it's worth 1.9 million ringgit. It's a lot of car for that money, but it's also a lot of money to pay if anything goes wrong. <laughs> Okay, we're in second gear and we're gonna open the taps up. Off we go. Oh my god, it's glorious. This is impossible. The acceleration is relentless. <laughs> it is quick. It is obscenely quick. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> So this uh, Gallardo in particular comes with uh, Lamborghini's e-gear system which is their version of the semi-automatic single clutch sequential manual gearbox. It's a personal choice really, um, I prefer pure manuals but I guess if you're going to be throwing around a couple of hundred thousand ringgit you want to have the whole e-gear thing. It's pseudo F1, it's cool. Okay, here's a bit of trivia. Did you know that Audi, in 1998, bought over Lamborghini from Southeast Asian businessmen? Yep, in the mid-90s, Lamborghini is actually owned by a company called Megatech. Majority was, was uh, shareholded by none other than Tommy Suharto and Mycom Berhad, now known as Dutalan Berhad, a Malaysian company, which is controlled by Dato Jeffrey Yap. So yeah, in the mid-90s, you could say that uh, Malaysia partly owns Lamborghini. And if you had a Lamborghini Gallardo, what would you do with it every day? Would you go in search of highways, chasing that top-end speed, 325 kilometers an hour? Or perhaps go in search of twisty roads, flinging it from turn to turn? or you can use it as a passport to get to the hottest clubs in town. Either way you look at it, the Gallardo is gorgeous and is ultimately very, very, very powerful. And it delivers whatever you need. Just ask, and it does it for you. I know you're jealous, right? You want to ride the Gallardo? Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to get my supercar soon. <laughs> anyway.